In Singapore, there's two very rich content creators. Hey. One is Ryan, but Ryan is not as rich as Maito. Ah, Maito okay. is literally rich. He go to hospital, the doctor also tell him you are a bit rich. <laughs> <laughs> This week, ah. we have invited yet another Abeng. Another Abeng. The last Abeng came, ah, ah. he introduced the food. Wow, very good. Whole leaderboard. Ah, everybody like. But ah. this Abeng, Gan Gan, Gan Gan, Chiu Tata Li, Cheng Cheng, Gan Challenge Woman. Yeah. I saw the list of food that he want to recommend right. us. It's everything oh, that we found a very, very good variation yes. about. Something that we eat often on yeah, this yeah. food show. Gan -gan and we have very high standards for. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gan Gan Challenge Woman. Gan Gan Challenge Woman. You want to take this TV over here? Come on, come on. Why what? You hide the red light. Sorry, sorry. You focus. I want to ask you. What is your taste profile like? Why you so arrogant? Come and challenge us. I'm not arrogant. I'm just confident. And I'm all talk, no action. Flavor profile wise, day to day, I like you know very simple stuff. But once in a while, I like to indulge in more more flavorful, yeah, 重口味 stuff. So to me, flavor is subjective. Food is subjective. Yes. You can have your choice what you like. Yes. But I also can have mine. I don't care about yours. Okay. Let's go. I just joking. Okay. You like most important. I don't. I don't like. Never mind. Right now we are at Tampines eating at Hainanese beef noodle and clay pot chicken rice. Wow. Can you guess what are they selling? Oh, I think maybe ten dollar clay pot beef noodle. <laughs> Why yeah. so eccentric? I don't know. It's very straightforward to the point, but it's a weird combination. Ah, yes. Before we start eating, we need to ask Tommy some questions. Ah, correct, correct. We need to educate our audience. Introduce our ah, guests. Ah, right. Right. Oh. <laughs> what I'm curious about, right? Ah, yes. so, Today we're on TikTok. Wow, you're this Abing generation. I'm not Abing. Oh, you're not. Do I look like Abing? Yeah. You don't discriminate people. Lah, don't tell me who means Abing. He also, he also got. Yeah, this one lah. I tell you, cancel him. Cancel him. When I started to do content creation was because when my restaurant opened, right, mm. I didn't have budget to do marketing. Ah. And then that time though, I get fat. Then how? Oh, oh, hey. oh, that time you're booking. Booking on the way to already. Yeah. <laughs> if I go there, my restaurant <laughs> close. <laughs> Simon was actually doing his content. He was right. on the way up. Right. So he was very convinced with TikTok. Right. So he told me like, hey, TikTok is a... Up and coming is one thing. It's very organic variety. Mm. Oh, you all so, know each other before TikTok? Yeah, I know Simon for almost 20 years, really. Ah. Yeah, I didn't know that. I didn't know yeah, that. Like, like childhood oh. acquaintance, we know oh. each other. Oh. Yeah, so during that time when I was doing I told him my problem. And then you all know, like, Singapore influencer all so expensive. I don't understand why, you know. Hey, I what, want to say, big, okay, this not... entire episode is not sponsored. I did not make any money out of this. I just say, yeah. I also ah. never. Ah. Ah. You also but, never. Hey. Be all ah. I never. Then Rick cut one okay. Uh, That's why Ryan is my brother. Hey, <laughs> steady, 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 steady. So he told me that, hey Tommy, why don't you just do TikTok? So I thought about it a few days, I just try it right. So it caught a sort of like, hey, first video got a few right. hundred people see. Then I said, hey, not bad already. Back to the food. So this is Hainanese beef noodle. The owner started cooking this particular dish right from 2011. Okay, but they have only been around for like the last six months. So yeah, how, how, how did you discover this place? I moved quite nearby, mm. I think uh, two years back. Right, then right. Uh, recently, because uh, I convert to more of a full-time content creator, right, right? Right, so right. I, I'm at home a lot of time. So more time to go find yeah, food. Yeah, so uh, my my wife actually, I think tapau this. Then I realized that, hey, you don't got this this place over here. Right. So I came down and try. La. Just now I tell him, he can't 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 find a beef noodle. He can't can't find a beef noodle. Four months changing, he's got number one beef noodle. This bowl of noodles, they managed to bring normal ingredients to out of this yeah. world. Yeah. <laughs> But beef noodle, there are a lot of types. And then to me, it's like, because I also run a, a F&B, right? right? To me, food is very subjective. I'm not particularly interested in the competition competition between two similar types of food. Right. But rather, we find the uniqueness of each individual. Yeah. Wow, so how? So how? That's a chef, right? But I have to dissect what's the beef noodle inside, right? We have beef tendons, beef ball, beef tripe, and beef slices. This! Hainanese beef noodle, right? Is the clear type one. So I tasted the soup, very clean taste. Yeah. So one thing I like about this place uh, is that because it's very clean and then uh, the ingredients are very fresh. To me, it's, uh, I eat already, I don't feel guilty. As somebody at my age, right, mm. I like something like that. There's no greasy aftertaste. Yeah. There's no like oil that's staying here and feel like very neat. Yeah, so I really like this. You must try the jinjalo. Yeah, well, I tried it. Yeah, hey, I tried the jinjalo. It's oh, hanchou, eh? <laughs> yeah, it's hanchou. You want to pay food with jinjalo, right? The food itself has to be very heavy, like yeah. samba stingray. Yeah, yeah. If not, it will be quite pungent. Oh, pungent, yes. yes. Yeah. Because I felt like, right, even though it was very pungent, it felt very authentic. It's not like, hey, how long long to, to suit a Singaporean. Mm. Then you see, uh, it's nothing much, right? It's just vinegar, no, no. Uh, fermented uh, prawn paste, right? Yeah. And onion, that's it. Right. Oh, but it's so 
Yeah. To me, right, I like the ingredients a lot. They give a lot. Like, you see this tendon. It's so big, right? Why do you have to eat it? It's two. This one is two. If you really look at it, right? This is really not bad. This is a pack of ingredients and two. Right? And then if the auntie likes you, they will give you free soup. So oh. the auntie likes you? She loves me. <laughs> 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 and right, to me right, because the soup is a lot cleaner than right. what we had for yeah. the Thai beef noodle, it feels like something right, I can come and eat every mm. day. Okay, so the Thai beef noodle feels like a treat to me. Oh, a long, treat. long time I will go and it's eat, right? and it really mm. warm. Correct. It makes me feel damn That's soft. Like this one I feel like I can eat it every day. Yeah, yeah. yeah. this one like you can try it with noodle, tomorrow eat it with rice, next day just drink the soup. And also because the ingredient is so much more packed, right? Yeah. it absorbs a lot of the broth. Right. Even though the broth is clean, right? Mm. but I think it, it took the ingredient to another level. And there's one thing right, I, like, I like to say, uh, they use very cheap ingredients. It doesn't feel like that, honestly. But it doesn't feel like that. Because we all, as now the society, right, we are very spoiled by very, uh, you know, very good ingredients. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sometimes we will discount this type of ingredient. Mm. Mm. Right. So overall, right, my verdict for this place right, is it's a very sustainable bowl of beef noodle that you can eat very often. Mm. Very clean taste, no greasy aftertaste. But I would say if you are somebody that prefer rich flavors and like, something that really blows your mind, right, mm. don't make a trip all the way down to here. Yeah. You will be disappointed. But if you live around the area, right, mm. and you're looking for like a daily sustenance, right, this will be the one. Mm. And I don't want you to make your trip now. Yeah. <laughs> you know, my one will get longer. To <laughs> <laughs> like what Tommy said about the ingredients, right? He talked to the dog, I realized I want the ingredients too. The ingredient very nice. It, yeah. It doesn't feel cheap. How much does it too little? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And one more thing about their chili. Ah. The chili oh. may not be something special. It's similar to those that eat during a great sub one. Maybe it's one, one, one. But it goes very well with the ingredients. Yeah. <laughs> hey, you see the tendon. They really very generous. I, I hope this is their consistent standard. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Yeah. 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 This is really the, the, the standard, standard serving. Yeah. For Liu Kuai Chen, very worth it. So be sure to come down and check out Hainan Beef Noodle and Clay Pot Chicken Rice. So we are heading to the next location. Guys, welcome to uh, the second place. So this is uh, Yang Ming Seafood. They got two branches. Two branches uh, right. One is at Bishan, one is at Ubi. La, Ubi. Ubi. Uh, and then they are opening one more branch at Vivo City right. come November. Yeah. I stumbled across this place right. during Chinese New Year. So oh. it's only quite recent. My wife's friend actually booked a restaurant. Right. Then I was still making noise. No? I said like, how oh, come this kind of place right. to eat? Because this is like an industrial area. Right, right, right. So you don't expect this kind of restaurant at an industrial area. Not gonna lie, because that's why we want to eat it while it's hot. We took a sip of the soup and our mind Oh. <laughs> so the pork stomach soup, right? when you look at it, it doesn't look very appetizing. Correct. To me, I, the moment that, that pot came, right, yeah. I could smell the stomach, right, you know, right, the standard right, right. stomach yeah, smell, yeah, yeah. right? But I, I was quite put off with it. Right. But when it started boiling, right, right. and all the Dangerous, aroma right. came out, right, and all because there are herbs inside there, right? Right. so there is like a uh, wolfberry. And then I realized, like, wow, hey, the smell quite good. And then the chicken is like tender. Right? Yeah. Yeah, it's not like the you know, right. KFC, the chicken right. breast. Right. Yeah. KFC is the favorite chicken. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so just now I asked the crew try because I also want them to experience, uh, try, experience mm. it, right? Then the girls was like, oh, I don't like very pokey oh, yeah, soup. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then they tried, oh. cut to their face. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I like pepper, pepper soup. It really let the chicken and the pig organ right release the flavors, but then the bad side of sour whey, right is covered by the pepper. All right, and then for soup, right, sometimes it's either too bland yeah. or too much uh, thing distracting yeah. the main ingredient. Mm. This one, I think we really yeah. can taste the main ingredient. But take note, this one, right, is not readily available all the right. time. You have to pre-order this. Oh, or yeah. you walk in at your own risk, right? Right. 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 I can understand why they want. They need to pre-order this. Yeah. It feels like my mama every Chinese New Year will cook, and then right. she will take very long to. Also, one year, one night only. Uh, yeah, one year, one night only. Right. And I think Tommy come from a place that he don't really like the pig organ smell. Yeah, I don't, I don't like. For me, I like. Mm. Right, and for okay. what is you like? Oh. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. 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 So, okay. I think okay. my thought okay. also like. <laughs> <laughs> This one, I'm bad. <laughs> but the flavor come from the pepper. Yeah, it feels like they accidentally dropped the pepper <laughs> in and then created a monster that they didn't know. And for me, right, sometimes you go out and eat pork organ soup. It's more the salted vegetable kind one. Ah, yeah, 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 which yeah, I don't yeah, like. Yeah, yeah. I prefer. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. I prefer the peppery kind. Apart from the flavorful broth, had the chicken, si yong kampong chicken, right? right? And the meat is so tender. Sweet and tender. I saw just now, ah. Uh, Okay, next up, the most expensive chin champagne I will have ever eaten in my life. No gold plate, honey. No gold plate, <laughs> ah! No gold 
Lobster and Sea Snake is really just like that. Uh. Some are uh, coriander, then we got the uh, lobster and the ginger one. It's really mm. as simple as that. So there is two types of lobster you can choose. One is the Boston lobster mm. and Western Australian lobster. Yeah, but don't order the Boston, la, honestly. Because the first time I tried it was already the, the Australian lobster. Right. And I felt that wow, the meat is really damn good. La, damn, got a damn nice bite to it. La. Good bite, right. very firm, chewy, yet right. not hard. Right. Whereas for Boston lobster, of course it's a uh, cheaper, but since you are already here to, to, to splurge, right? right? Myself get the better yeah. one. Yeah, correct. Yeah. Actually, that's very true. As far as change of fun go, right? I've never <laughs> eaten a change of fun that is more than $3, <laughs> honestly. Eat all, eat all, eat all. <laughs> <laughs> but this change of fun is really the cream, the cream PR TV system. It's right. the best. Repeat one more time louder for that. Cream, the cream PR TV system and coup de gras. It's right about the um, lobster meat. It really has this firm, nice touch and bite on uh, to, to it. I think it's because, right, the meat is too chunky. It's like, oh, bro, because the freaking lobster is like outside there. Right? <laughs> Later we be roll the lobster for you. Then we'll pile up Andrew. There's a few Andrew over there, and the lobster must be named Andrew. If not named Andrew, ah, cannot come here. Oh, so it's a Benjamin F. Yeah, it's a Ryan. It's a Tuesday night dish. This dish. Mainly for the lobster cheese on fun, right? It's not much of the sauce flavor. Mm. It's really the freshness of the cheese on fun mixed together with the, the lobster meat. I disagree to a certain level. Ah, like what? I like. But you're not the main guy. <laughs> 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 I like that they put the fried garlic. Right. Mm. Because right, normally when I eat lobster, I choose fresh uh hamon to hamon boy, yeah. chula, it's a fresh out. So right. the style of the thing is the lobster, right? Yeah. I feel like the chicha fan right is nothing to be ignored of. The yeah. chicha fan also itself, yeah, right? Yeah, you can't ignore the chicha. Yeah, it's really it's good. It's, it's not thick. And I have to say it's a unique dish. Huh? Mm. I will never imagine chicha fan to go with lobster. It's it's kind of weird combination, yeah, you'll never see it. <laughs> But it's really, really good. Okay, next up, we are having crab bihun. He stressed, but he keep talking about it on the way here. Honestly, I only had it once. So okay. for me to have this thing once and recommend it, right? Yeah. It it shows, it shows the confidence on me yeah. lah. But when I was on the way here, I was worried like it was like a one-off thing. But that day was super packed. For a super packed restaurant, sometimes we're right? right? The quality. Ah. But when it came and we eat, the entire table now of us agreed that this was right. super good. My god, the bihun <laughs> alone. I haven't even start with the crab at wow. The wok hey is crazy, bro. No, 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 no. <laughs> this is not wok hey. It's hey! Wok! Hey! <laughs> <laughs> There's a two choices of crab. You can choose the Sri Lanka crab or you can. Or you don't eat at all, okay? <laughs> don't talk about the other crab. This is the only one you should order. Sri Lanka crab full of roll, okay? The other crab is. In no, the don't crab. order. <laughs> And when you had this, uh, it's going to be the, the peak pinnacle of your life. Eh? No more. Eh? Because any crab you're going to eat after that, right? it's going to look very inferior. I can understand why not only is so packed with the wok hey, right? it's also very nice because you have chunks of the crab roll inside. Yeah, right. really? Yeah, it's like random Yeah, pieces. random one. Eh. It's like... <laughs> It's like the pork la. Some of the pork la. Correct, correct, correct. And the flavor of it really infuses yeah, into yeah. the, the meat. So I really, really like it. So, <laughs> among all three dishes, which will be your favorite? Wow, I was gonna ask you that. Because one only one lah. Okay, I, I like the crab. To me, it's a very complete meal. For the other dishes, like for me, I will get maybe a bit sick of the lobster. But because this one, the star is really the bihun. Right. And the bihun is very flavorful. But it's not flavorful to the point where you feel very jelly. But regardless, right, this place you will usually come for a celebration. If it's not because of the company, right, the food will be quite let down. Yeah, yes, yes, yes. But this one you will really enjoy the food. Right. First, I don't really like the company, but yeah. I still enjoy the food. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, I also don't like the food. <laughs> I also don't like the food. Uh, Ryan, Ryan caught me like 16 times. <laughs> Decide to come on this show. Oh, like I saw that. Okay, free then just like. Oh. Yeah, anyway, free meal then what's it? Mm. But I still feel that you know it deserves a shout out. Right. Because it's really not easy to do something of this standard. And honestly, I don't feel like I'm being top from the price. Which brings me to my favorite, yes. will be the lobster. Because yes. I don't know any place that does it like this. How often you can tell people, let's go eat a $148 chicken fund? Sounds <laughs> like a flex, eh? <laughs> and the person will be like, what the f? <laughs> <laughs> is $148 chicken fund? You don't ask, just come. Nah, just okay. Don't ask, just come. Tommy convinced me. Ah. The crap. Like what you ask me, if I can only order one. I'm not going to order that chicken fund. I'm not going to order that chicken fund. Stand alone. Yeah, I will. You will. I still will. <laughs> Okay, so be sure to come down Yang Ming Seafood to give it a try. They have be sure. Be be sure. Sure. And we are heading to the next location. Let's go. And for the last location, we are at 284 Kretsa. Mm. And we are obviously having 
Kway Chap. Yes. I've been to this place many, 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 many times. I never eaten at this timing. What time is it now? Uh, dinner time, 6 p.m. Uh, like Actually, 5.45 p.m. Uh, 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 normally, this place opens uh, 6 to 2 a.m. Most of the customer is drunk. Which brings me to the point. Uh, yes. He, he said most of the customer is drunk at this time, uh, yes. at, at like 12 a.m., 1 a.m. I have to be very honest. Uh, most of the time, I can't eat at that timing, right? At best possible. But today, I eat at the dinner time. Eh? Yes. Because before uh, we came to this place, I was yeah. telling the producer, yeah. say like, mm. yeah, this place is not good, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Then when they pass us the plate, right, we yeah. like, I just saw, guys, we've eaten it, we're like, hey, it's the standard, like, yeah, today I'm uh, good, uh, so maybe you should come at dinner time. Yes, Alright, right. and Italy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> 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 I want to bring your attention to a fun fact. Ah, yes, yes. Okay. A lot of you don't know Ben's real height. It's 135 cm. Ooh. And I know a lot of you don't believe. And I know the camera cannot shoot, but uh, this is what, what, what this is what is happening for No, me. why are you what? sitting two layers of chairs? Because you're 135 cm. Ah, sorry, I don't know what is slow. You all don't know slow. Slow, it's slow, man. Slow, it's like a slow, 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 Okay, editor, please put this slope in. Just put that 135 cm. Okay. <laughs> Based on what I'm eating today, right? Today the kway chap, right? Very herbalicious. It's like naga ya tang the jinghua is all inside this kway chap. Amongst all these ingredients, yeah, right? Yeah. There's a few things that we like to bring yes. your attention to. Correct. First, the xian cai. Yes. Mother good today. I don't know why. Okay, honestly, I've never tried the xian cai. Right, right. And I don't like xian cai. Uh. But they put cloves of garlic and fried garlic uh. and normally uh, you also uh, you put garlic maybe pai mei only right yeah, yeah. but the salted vegetable yeah. has the garlic fragrance yes, i don't know yes. how they did it yeah. so the next dish i want to bring your attention to right is this bean curd skin i have never ordered this because it's put, put some more yeah. Yeah. but wow the first time i try this wow very crispy on wow. the outside very fluffy in the inside and it's very flavorful. That too is uh, one of my favorite, uh, even though it's not the zuzhiao. Everything right. else is also very good. It's something that I think normal people won't order. Mm. I think that's why it's a hidden gem. Mm. Yeah. We just want to order these two. Yeah. Right, right, right. If you come here, I think you really should try this. Yeah, yeah. yeah. like we say, right, it's a bit hard to differentiate. The super good one lah. Actually, I, agree. I never really had like a super 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 good one in Singapore. It's one of the dishes that if you blind taste six different salt, you cannot tell. Then another thing I also have to say the organs are is quite cleanly truly. But there were few times that I come here and eat right, it wasn't that clean. So we don't know whether they clean it up for us. Mm. But I hope they can maintain this mm. standard yes, because yes, yes. honestly, at this kind of standard, people will come back. Correct. Yeah. I agree. I agree. Why I recommend this place? Honestly, is because this was one of the one that I actually came back in and ate a few, few mm -hmm. days. So I'm, it's not a comparison. It's just that happened to, you know, I remember this mm. store. Uh, so I just recommended yeah. this store. So if you are staying around the area, I think it's you yeah, should yeah. know, lah, right? You are staying quite far away and then around the area, you don't have good kway chap. Maybe you can come here and yeah. try. I just got to cut the shit. What are your favorites today? Because it's a clear winner for me. Mm. It's a Yang Ming seafood. I can still taste the flavor in my mouth. Yeah, right, right, right. My favorite is also Yang Ming, but the chi chop part. Because I think that is really very unique. At least we both can agree it's Yang Ming, but what? Because I like the crab bee hoon. Mm. The crab bee hoon to me, even though because we were taking bee rolls, and after bee rolls, and I was like, it's still good. So you are telling me today we go there, you get to eat twice, lah, and then uh, the entire bill comes, and both are twice, I have to pay twice. Lah. Yes, correct. It's okay, Ryan got money. Yeah, so yeah, don't worry. Okay, In Singapore, there's two very rich content creators. Hey, one, hey, is, hey, hey. one is Ryan. But Ryan is not as rich as Maito. Ah, Maito yeah. is literally rich. He go to hospital, the doctor also tell him you are a bit rich. <laughs> <laughs> I like the everyday food lah. and because I always eat the beef noodle, yeah. I can eat it with no guilt. My entire family, my kids also love okay, it. Okay, I'm gonna be straightforward, okay? Right now, I know ah, in the leaderboard, right, number 10 is Xiao Qian's on me, right? Yeah. I easily can replace with... Easily ah. Easily can replace with Yami. Bye, Xiao Qian. Yeah. I'm having a bit of uh, difficulties Why? because... Why? Price? Price. Yeah. yeah. Because the apartment is something that I can do. More accessible. Yeah, more accessible. More for the general right. audience, right? right. This crab bee hood is it's something like, yeah, in yeah, for like. occasion. Right. Definitely, I would say flavor wise, taste wise, beat. Right. 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 I would say. Never be. Never be, ah. Huh? Okay, fair enough. But I believe, right, that noodle is already flavorful without the crab. So I think maybe as a recommendation, they can have a cheaper version. Oh, yeah. yeah. Ah. Yeah, yeah. Actually, I agree. If, if they manage to do a version without the crab, also to right? Yeah. Yeah. Definitely little bit. Confirm. Confirm. Confirm little In fact, right, can be like eight or seven. Yeah. Please. Yeah. Let's go enough for me. Although none of uh, the things that we featured today hit the little bit, I have to say, the beef noodle and the kway chow, right, it's like an everyday food. You won't sit on me. Before we end the show. Ah, yes, yes. yes. Tommy, we'll give you 30 seconds to say whatever you want, promote whatever, do whatever you want. Okay, so my door. 
ลูกพี่คนนี้ละโอ้ยโบราณแม่พี่แต่ the overkill team invited me here to actually share a bit of the things that I like but I think most importantly is whether it's an expensive restaurant whether is it a hawker center or coffee shop I feel that F&B in today's term is really very hard to do so if we can We support local, especially our our hawkers, lah. We make sure that we can keep all these things here that we all enjoy to continue to our next generation. Wow, so lah. Vote for my next politician. Yes. Vote for Tommy. Yeah, vote for Tommy. Okay. With that, we have officially invited two of the Holy Trinity. Ah, yeah, yeah. Sama mo, your next. I scared he bring you go Changi Eat. He always tell me inside some of the food quite nice. Honest. Honest. How about the candy cane? Father get festive. And with that, remember to follow Tommy on his socials and our socials. And click here for more. Click here to what? Cut to the blue plus. I don't like never mind. Pa. Hey, pa. Oh, pa. I just, I just like eating. Huh? Let me see.